Welcome to the course guys, I'm more than happy that you decided to study more into flash distillation in chemical and process engineering. So the course is entirely prepared by me, the chemical engineering guy. Well, first things first, congratulations in choosing this course. I know that flash distillation doesn't sound that sexy. It doesn't sound that sexy such as maybe a distillation column or a gas absorber or so on. But in my opinion, flash distillation is one of the most important things to master both theoretically and in real life. So flash distillation for me is the basis of mass transfer. Why? Because mass transfer is essentially based on stages. We will see later in this course that the flash distillation is typically a single stage. We know that the columns have several stages and if you don't know make no worries you don't need to but if you do know you know that we add the oil and we separate this into i don't know maybe natural gas we separate this into naphtha kerosene and then we get these diesel fuel oils and eventually some asphalt all these will be removed in certain stages and guess what? Each stage could, in theory, be a flash distillator or a flash drum or a flash stage. So if you get to know and understand flashing, I'm pretty sure that all other stages that appear in mass transfer, and this is only one example, petroleum refining, but there are stages overall, gas absorption, gas stripping, fractional distillation, Asiotropic distillation, batch distillation, lexiviation, extraction, and so on. So this is the power of flash distillation. If you master this, I'm confident that you will be working towards other courses in mass transfer or other unit operations much easier. This is the fundamentals of mass transfer. So if you master this, you will be all in into mass transfers. So the course is essentially divided into five sections. I wanted to focus mostly on a review of mass transfer. I know that this may be boring or this may be topics on general theory. But after that, we directly go to section three and jump into flash distillators. What is a flash drums, typical concepts, why is it so important to know how a flash drum works? Then we work with multi-component flashing. You know that in real life, binary components are not that common. You will see that there are literally lots of mixtures with lots of components and multi-component flashing will help us to solve that. And eventually we close the course. So I don't want to tell you much more into what's the content because I think that will be a good next lecture but I just want to create this hype that please be sure that if you master flash distillation, you will be able to master all other mass transfer courses. Okay. So on my behalf, the chemical engineering guy, I wish you the best of luck. And once again, I congratulate you that you decided to study this course.